Hi everyone and welcome to another video. This video is all about measuring up. Well, that subject anyway. So when I go to actually measure up a job, it's probably 50-50% chance that I'm actually going to get the job. It takes time to speak to the customer, to get to the job, to spend an hour, possibly two hours there, come back. You've got your travel time, you've got your travel costs, you come back and you then send your quotes out, which again takes time. Could take one, two, three, four hours out of your time. So I thought to myself, how do I increase the chance of getting the actual job? Well, I thought if I could go to the job and bring something handcrafted, something that sets me aside from everyone else, be a little bit different, think outside the box, then I stand more chance of getting the job. So that's where this video comes in. It's about making myself a logo, a QR code card, and a business card, all made from 3mm birch ply. Just think it's the easiest material to use and the most luxurious material you can use that is sheet material and it's very cheap for what it is only one pound each there is obviously the outlay of the laser but once you have it you've always got it and it's not like it's going to run out you never need to sharpen any, anything on it it's not like a cnc where you've got a cutter literally do an unlimited amount of work from it as long as you look after it and clean it it's absolutely fine to do so so that's where this video comes in. I'm going to be giving you the settings and all the know-how in order to make three particular pieces. We've got the logo, which is my hanger. We've got my QR code card and we've got my business card. And that is what I'm going to be showing you today. A quick and easy way of making these. Yes, you're going to need a little bit of background information and have a little bit of experience with lasers, but it doesn't take a long time. I'm not a professional or an expert at this by any stretch. I watched a few videos and that got me going straight away. Also got the light burn software, which is so easy to use. So I'm going to be giving you all these settings. I'm going to be giving you the files to have all the settings in them. So all you need to do is change the parameters and away you go. So if you feel like you've taken something away from the video, you've liked the content, you've liked the information I've given you, feel free to hit that like button, leave a comment. That's great if you leave a comment. I always try and get back to people. Subscribe, the usual, and possibly join our membership. That really helps us out because it does take a lot of time to make these videos for you. And obviously they are all free. So with that being said, enjoy the video. So this is what we're trying to make, okay, a little close up on all three, we've got our logo, we've got a QR code card going to our website and our YouTube channel, and we've got a business card, all slightly smaller than a business card size, so I've gone about 70 by 45, and I believe they should be ever so slightly bigger, about 75 mil by 50. But um, I think this is a nice diddy size, and we get more per piece of A4 sheet than if we increased it, we get less. Okay, so hence the reason I have opted for that size. So there is a QR code website where you could just type in your link and it will give you a QR code. I'll leave a link in the video for you. Really, really easy, and you can have different styles as well. I just thought it's a handy thing to have for someone to go straight to my website or to my YouTube channel to like, subscribe and join. This is where you can join, by the way. So if you want to join our membership, head to the YouTube channel homepage and press join. Thank you very much. So, yeah, we're just testing out the last one here because I want to get those settings just right. So when you pick up your ply and you put it on your machine, you press play, everything just pops out of your a4 card in pristine condition no sanding necessary if we can help it okay so these qr codes are the only bits that may need a little tickle um, but the rest station there's a lot of work needed to just engrave these um, qr codes you can see it's been working its magic here for about a minute for each this is about four and a bit minutes this was a minute and a half and this was a minute and a half. So it doesn't take long at all. So once I'm happy with this, which I think I may be after this, I'll put all three pieces onto one light burn file, make sure I've got all my settings correct, and then I will put that link in the video description for you guys. Then you could just edit the file by opening it and changing the wording, for example, swapping out the QR code for your own. And yeah, the main thing is to give you these settings. That is the most important thing because that's the bit that takes the time. There we go, it's just finished. Let's see what we got. 
Yeah, so we're not too far off there. I may just tweak that once more. There's a little bit of burn where it goes side to side. What I would suggest before you actually start a project when you have got your boards, because these come in a pack of 100, sand up a few with an orbital sander. Just go over with some P240 and your orbital sander to sand those up really, really smooth. They are sanded really smooth as to start with. It may reduce how much burn you do get around or how much of the smoke or um debris comes off the qr codes because it seems like that is the only problem i have at the moment ready to go got all my settings dialed in let's go for it Right, moment of truth, all completed. Let's pull it off the cards and see what they look like. So there we go, guys, all finished. Pretty happy with the way these came out. It was a bit tricky to set up the QR code, but it's readable. Problem was the burn as it goes past, it creates a little smoky effect around the outside of the code. So I've had to dial that in and just make it a little bit less dark. Um, I've tried to make it so the cards are made as quick as possible. So remember guys, this is a kind of inspiration video, something to get you started, something to get you motivated to do this yourself and give you those baseline settings to be able to just make this yourself. You may be able to tweak these settings a little bit further. I'm not an expert, but um, I'm happy with this. If I wanted to, I can always just give them a swipe of sandpaper and happy days. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. So remember, like and subscribe if you can. Leave a comment. If you feel like we're just producing decent content and you like it, you want to be part of this, feel free to join our membership because remember, everything that you see is free. And it does take time and effort to pass this information on to you. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoy your Sunday. See you next Sunday. Take it easy. Ciao for now.